Everyone, welcome back to Slow True. This is Norbene here. Say hello to everyone, Norbene. Good girl. When last we left off, we were right outside of the refuge of Athelion, which is right up the road there. We had just gotten through the elf introductory sequence, and we had made our way down to these abandoned ruins on the path down into Thorin's Gate here. And we had stopped to talk to Nos Greensong. Uh, he is the next character who has a deed or a uh, quest for us, rather. So we are going to go ahead and talk to him. And let's see what he has. Intro, Elrond's Errand. I offer you and your company my service, good elf. I am here on an errand from Dwalin, leader of our own traveling party. It seems that we have arrived at the same time. Dwalin wishes to understand the consequences of this coincidental visit, and if we dwarves may have any assistance to you here. We have come to investigate the long silence since Gomir Dowersmith became steward of the hall in Thorin's absence. Why have the sons of Elrond ventured hither? So we are going to talk to Eladan, son of Elrond. Let me turn this off. I said we still will see a, quite a few of the quest guiding systems. You know, Nos, Nos, he's right over there. You could go ask him yourself. He's right over here. <sighs> All right. It's interesting that the dwarves arrived when we did, though we came for different purposes. So, our party has come to pursue my father's strange premonition, and Dwalin's party has come to investigate another claim, Gomir Dowersmith's failings as stewards of these halls. I wonder if our two quests are not unrelated, Narwane. What do you think? Well, let us begin our investigation, now that we are all here. Dwalin, though a dwarf, is a friend to Rivendell. We will lend him what help we can. So let us choose which one of these are wearing. Being a, being a squishy, of course, we're only going to be able to choose the light armor. Although, 18 armor class is a good deal better than 17 there, isn't it? The one we're wearing, the light elvish robe, that can be used for comfort as well as protection. Let's use the tattered dwarf mate cloth short robe. Stay a moment. My father is great among the wise, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. My father is great among the wise, this is Elrond's dream, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. These are the words he imparted to me. Blood-red footsteps upon snow-colored black, where the dour king walks to take back his throne and finish what was begun. I am no riddle master, but some of the elves in my company have skill in solving such things. Come, let us speak with the riddle masters Marathon and Doralas, for Doralas bade us come here. Hopefully they will know where to start looking. So seek Marathon's insight on the riddle of Elrond's dream. So let us go and talk to them first. So Marala Marathon is who we're going to talk to first. But before we do that, let us go ahead and equip our new robe right down here. Yes, I know. Character panel. Bye-bye. Is this it? Hauberk of the hat. There we go. We really going to have to get all this funky inventory here into shape. Oh, there we go. That's quite nice. I'm going to put this over here in bag six with all our stuff to be sold. All right, that's very nice indeed. Kind of a, uh, kind of a, a denim, denim jacketed ensemble. Looks like we're getting ready to go to the uh, Country Music Awards there. Oh, along with our, all we need is a cowboy hat, and we'd be ready to go. All right, Marathon, Marathon is who we need to speak to now. And she is way over here at this end of the. 
this into the path. All right. Megovanen, I am here to help solve the riddle that is Elrond's dream. Look yonder, Narvene. Thorin's Hall belches smoke and soot, and the white snow of the mountain is black ere it touches the floor of the valley. Upon snow colored black. What do you think? It is a rather literal for a riddle. Alright, so now we are going to seek Doralas's insight on the riddle. Mirathin notes that the snow in the valley below is black from soot, and is likely the black snow of Elrond's dream. Alright. I'm assuming they perhaps mean this area all over in here is the black soot. Let's see. And there's Doralas. We will look at that while we ask him what's going on. I was the one who led the party here, for I believe the Dower King is none other than Scorgrim, King of the Dower Hands of old. There is only one problem with my logic. Scorgrim has been dead for many long years. He died here when he tried to raid Athelion for the elven relics that he believed would ensure his immortality. I hope I have not led the party astray, but my heart tells me Scorgrim is part of this story. So let us talk to Elidan now. Dorlas believes that Scorgrim is the Dower King in Elrond's dream. All right. Here's what your father's dream means. Doralas led us here because he believes that Scorgrim is the Dower King in my father's dream. Had I known, I would never have let this party be led here. Scorgrim is dead. My father watched him die. But Marathon believes she has found a piece of the puzzle. The black snow dirtied from the dower hands slovenly stewardish of these, stewardship of these halls. I will permit the investigation to continue, but I am very skeptical and disappointed in Dorless's judgment. All right, let's get some tattered dwarf make cloth gloves. Why are we wearing dwarf outfit? Why are we wearing all this dwarf make stuff? We ought to be wearing elf make. Guess somebody wants to be sure that we're not going to uh, get overly uh, ambitious here, are they? Intro, honing your skills. Whether Dorlas was right or wrong in leading us here, my heart warms me that danger is near, as is often the case with the wide world of late. Before getting started, everyone should be prepared. You are lore master, as I can see plainly, but have you mastered your skills? I fear that you will be tested as a warrior in these harsh mountains. You should speak with your trainer to make sure you are ready for what lies ahead. So let us go and talk to the lore master trainer. Um, there they are. Sitting and reading a book by the old dry fountain. Penistan. Talk to us, my lady. Uh, training a lore master's companion. Might you spare a moment of your time? Welcome, Narine. It is good to meet another who walks the path of wisdom, and I will gladly share my insight with you. As you grow in knowledge and ability, you will find that you will have many allies to call upon in your struggles. The birds and creatures of the land will lend you their strength. Even the strength of the very earth can be drawn upon, or the light from the sky, or fire. It is very subtle but rewarding expertise we lore masters seek. Demonstrate your mastery by summoning your own bear companion. Hint, lore masters have unique companions that grant them extra skills and abilities in combat. The bear aids the lore master by drawing their attacks and will also aid in other ways at higher levels of experience. Summon your bear and remember to use him to aid you in combat. That is easy enough. Go ahead and summon. You have summoned your bear companion. Really? Where did he show up at? Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> Couldn't have gotten a closer look at him, could you? Negavonen. Good, Narwene. I think you will be an excellent lore master someday. You should return now to Elidan. I believe he wishes to begin the investigation. 
All right, so we have been given a sturdy staff now. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw this up here. As we get stuff and I get a moment, I am going to continue moving things up into these upper rows. So what we have will show up down here. So our sturdy staff now does 9 to 15 or 4.8 DPS. So we have already gone up and gotten a better weapon. And we still haven't really seen any combat yet. Last one. Come on up there. Good. All right. Let's go back to Eladan once more. You have a true warrior's heart. Well done, Narwene. You have a true warrior's heart. Learning the ways of a lore master throughout your life is not an easy feat, but it is rewarding. There we go. We have just leveled up level one. Oh, and someone else is running around in here with me. Who is it? They have as well. For a little win. For a win. Hello, for a win. Good job. A companion's level is relative to his master. When you level up with a companion summon, you should release and resummon your companion to make sure it benefits from your newfound power. Right click on your companion's fortress portrait to dismiss him. We will do that now. Let us get rid of our companion because it's a first level bear. Ha! And we will resummon it as a second level bear. Introduction, where Scorgrim fell. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will give Dorlis' theory a chance since we are here. Marathon is not unconvinced either. We should investigate the ruins of Ethelion, the place where Scorgrim fell, to ensure that he is still dead. You were there to watch him die, Narwene, were you not? If Scorgrim's grave is undisturbed, then the mystery will be even greater. Talk to Dorniel about her memories of Ethelion. All right, that we can do. Dorniel. Is Dorniel going to be out here? Or is Dorniel inside Athelion? I'll bet she is probably inside Athelion. All right, there's a minstrel. That's what they know. The minstrel's talking to somebody else. I may be of service to you. You can maybe of service to me by allowing me to sell off this stuff. We're going to make our first six silver pieces here. There we go. And look at we have three silver, 89 copper pieces already. Very nice. All right, I'm going to assume that Dorniel is within the ruins of Ethalion. So we will come on down here and see if that were to be true. Oh, I remember back in the days, this used to, you used to not start out here. This is where you came, you know, after you did the introduction that we saw, you know, you weren't out here. All these people were actually inside the ruins of Athelion up here. And you had all these quests that you had to run inside the ruins. Involving, I think, goblins and that kind of stuff. Out here, this this road used to be just absolutely awash with little, uh, um, oh, what are the cats? The cat people, the lynxes that are here. This this area used to have the, the lynx like lynx kittens and young lynxes all along it who would attack you like crazy as you went to your next hub, which was that place we just left. Oh, I really wish there was uh, evidence. I've tried to find, I've looked on YouTube. I haven't devoted a, a long and arduous study to it, but I have tried to find if there was... If there were any um, old videos of... of the beginning level elf quest and stuff here but i guess it would just it's just too old it predated seems to have predated youtube perhaps a little too much because the videos would be what nine eight and nine years old now so that part is a little disappointing i will keep looking and see if i can find any old lps from way back then and uh, it would make a very interesting uh, comparison to how things go now Intro, where Scorgrim fell. I am lucky to be alive after the injuries I bore the day Athelion fell. I, I do not think I will have the will to go back into that place. It is only a shadow of its former glory now. Only pain remains. So let's talk to Nathriel about her memories. 
Dorniel was gravely hurt when Athelion was attacked, and many others died. Yeah, here are the, the overgrown, shattered ruins. Pass on deeper into the gates here. And we should have someone. There she is. Nethriel, survivor of Athelion. I was here when Athelion fell. I was a healer, but my strength in mending was not enough to mend the hurts caused by Skorgrim and his Dowerhand warriors. I cannot return here without great sadness in my heart. It was such a needless war. He sought immortality in the relics we kept here, but found only death. All right, so let's go to talk to Doringer about his memory. Looks like he will be back around this way, perhaps. Uh oh, do I have Quest Tracker on? It looks like I do have Quest Tracker on. Oh, and I found out the other day, yes, I did have a setting. There's a setting that you have to click on to show your own name. So that was there. Let's go in. I am going to go in and turn off Quest Tracker. And take a quick jaunt to the uh, Gentleman's Lounge. And I will be right back. We have turned off the quest guide and our options, so we won't get the little arrow on the screen anymore. That sits and shows where the next quest location is. Seriously, these aren't that hard to figure out. You know, you don't need the easy mode button. The memories I carry of this place and all that are lost are a difficult burden to bear. Yep. Oh, and someone has planted a rose tree right, the rose bush right there where, where, uh, Taligan died. I think that was his name. I will be amazed if I remember that. Doringer. What can I do for you? Remember Doringer? We were fighting at his side. It was across this bridge that brave Taligan brought the library's walls down upon Skorgren and himself, thus putting an end to Skorgren's lust for immortality. The walls smote them both as they crumbled. But that is a strange flower, one I have never seen before. Is it familiar to you, Elf? That's, is it going to let us pick? Oh, it's, we get both of them. Stay a moment. All right. Where Skorgrim sleeps. I have been told Skorgrim's body was discovered by Thorin's folk back when he inhabited this land before his death. The dwarf miners dug into the mountain and exposed the ruined cellars of Athelion, and that is where the corpse lay perfectly preserved in the silver deep mine. When Taligan brought the library down upon them both, they fell to their grave below. You could search for Skorgrim's body where last it was seen, if you seek it still. For my part, I have no wish to look upon Skorgrim again. All right, so we're going to be going into the silver deep mine and defeat pests as we search for his body. We're going to need to search for four pests. That we can do. In the meantime, let us haul these out here onto our bar. All right, let's move this up. There we go. I'm going to haul these out onto our bar here. Just so. We'll have them at the ready and, and available for going there. All right. Let us go back down the hill. We are going to go where? The Silver Deep Mine? I'm assuming, and I'm assuming that's going to take us to go way on down. And that they haven't made this super easy by putting a uh, little hidden entrance, a crack in the wall down here that takes you directly to his body. Does not look to be so. So we will go back on out. Can we get through here? No, we cannot. We will head back on down the hill, go into the Silver Deep Mine, which I'm assuming is the next step. Let's take a look. Yes. The Silver Deep Mine is west of the ruins of Athelion at the bottom of the stair path leading down into the mountains. That's what I thought. Let us head back out. We are going to go past where all our quest givers were out here where we started and on down the path. Is Bear following us? Bear is following us. 
There we go. Oh, we never named Bear, did we? Alright, let's rename Bear. BJ. Oh! Specify companion. Oh, okay. I bet I know why uh, they don't allow you to type BJ. But that is not. I was looking for BJ in the bear, of course. All right. Well, um, can we go with BJ's companion? BJ's favorite fellow trucker, Stax. There we go. All right, Stax. Stands for the uh, all the pancakes she could eat, of course. Let's see here. We're trying to get... Is that... Oh, y'all didn't put it there, did you? Nope. All right. Let's go... See, you used to have to go way back over yonder and down the path. But, of course, when they put in the new beginner experience here, they added in this stared area. So that now, you don't have to go all the way down that way. You can actually go to the Silver Deep Mines by traveling down through this winding stair. Fortunately, not the uh, not the same winding stair that that Nor uh, um, Gollum spoke about. It's not quite that deadly. And this should take us to the Silver Deep. In fact, in days gone past, this is where Elidan was. He was this part, just like that upper road was full of. Uh, how that upper road was full of the little baby lynxes, the little uh, young lynxes. And there's another one of those strange bushes, as he said. The strange flowers that we saw up there. It was full of the, the small lynxes up there. And this part down here is full of baby cave clocks and young diggers and things like that. So my, how things have changed. Elidan was standing right about there looking at the mine. So let us go on ahead into the Silver Deep. Boy, I've only played through the Elfin part here one time, but all that is so familiar. So fresh to me. Yeah, all these young cave claws were also out there. And these shouldn't bother us. Oh, they're not even going to bother. I was going to say unless we stay too close to them, but they're not even going to bother us then, are they? It doesn't seem like they're going to aggro on us. So, okay, an open tapping monster. We know that, we, because this is a, a public dungeon, as it were. Tell our bear to attack it. There, we got some pending loot, of course. Now, we will continue on down into the cave. Let's turn our light on so we can see. A shame that they don't aggro like they once did. Yep, they're gonna be just as easy to slaughter as the as the dwarves were back in the intro quest. Oh wow. Fortunately that DOT did the trick. Ah, and these are white, that's why. Alright, that one? Okay, that's our four pests that we had to kill. Now let's see if we can find Scorgrim's body. Find the site where Scorgrim's body was found. I just got a feeling that it's going to be right on past here. So these are the silver deep mines that the dwarves have opened up. Dwarves are always digging, 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 aren't they? I wonder what these little blue things are. These supposed to be gems, or is this something? These blue things, something that shouldn't should not be bothered. Scorgrim's body is gone, but the same strange flower is found in Athelion, grows at the site of his long grave. As are all the cracks of light coming through the uh, coming through the ruins above. You see the tower that's lying on its side and. Coming down into the actual, uh, coming down into the actual cellars here. So this is where his body lay, perhaps. 
Let's pick one of these strange red flowers. Petals of this evil looking flower are blood red. Okay. Now bring the odious red flower to Eladan. Let's take a look at it in our quest log here. Yep. Remember back, that shows you how long ago, whenever I was doing these quests for the first and only time, way back eight and a half, nine years ago, all this quest material, like that flower, would pop up into your inventory as well. We didn't have the pending loot over here, of course. You had to loot all the bodies as you went along. And once you filled up your bags, that was it. Until you went back and sold something or threw it away. Yeah, that's what you had. And all this stuff would fill up your inventory as well. All these quest items that show up in your log now. Peer down here as well. Alright, we're going to take the, the longer run, I think. Shouldn't be too far. There's the path right up there. Just because... Wow, I hadn't ever seen that map before. Just because I don't really want to go back and forth up all those stairs again. So we will head right down here. Hang a quick left. And go back up to the... The... Uh, sanctuary that way. As you notice here at the moment, instead of all those statues of Thorn and all, the Dower Hands have put up all these statues of Scorgrim everywhere. That's disturbing. Now hopefully, that won't last long. So let's go back up the hill. So this was the path back and forth up this hill before all those, those winding stairs over there came into existence. And once again, it used to be absolutely littered with uh, lynxes. Lynxes and wolves, I think, were all along this part of the path. The wolf, wolf, uh, lynx cubs and wolf pups. So, yep. Just to give you an idea of what, how things used to be, what kind of situation you used to have here. Let us go back on over here, talk to Eladan. There we go. Let him it is know. A vile little flower, and one I have not seen before. That is no way to talk to a lady bringing you a flower. That is a vile little flower, and one I have not seen before. You say it grew where Scorgrim died, and where his body lay in death for all these years. Such magic is not common to dwarves. His body has been moved, though we do not know where. It seems that the flowers follow him in death. Perhaps they will lead us to his new grave. Let's take our tattered dwarf make cloth shoes. Stay a moment. The footprints of blood. A trail, Narine. Red flowers leading a trail through the snow. Do you think these are the footprints of blood? Blood red footsteps upon snow colored black where the dour king walks to take back his throne and finish what was begun. We have black snow, and the body of the dour king has been moved, leaving the fell flowers as footprints. Something evil is at work here, and I am sure something evil was at work when he sought our relics for immortality. We must follow him again, my brother is scouting for sign as well. Seek him as you search. Explore the gate at the Silver Deep Mines Courtyard. Well, we were just there. We've seen the gate. We've seen there's a flower. Don't tell me that Elro here is going to be down there now. Let us exchange and give us some... There we are. We'll put this right over here and get us some... Hmm, this looks like they came out of the Land's Inn catalog or something. Very nice. And that takes, oh, what's our armor class? Shouldn't it be listed here? AC, where is AC? You know, it's been so, oh. No, that's hit points, that's morale, armor, there we go, 34. Couldn't see it, couldn't see the, uh, the stats for the giant label. Ugh, God. All right, back down the path. We are getting very close here to the end, so we will probably investigate the gate, see the red flower. If Elro here is here, we will talk to them. 
And then afterwards, we will probably call that an episode. Been rather productive here. These first levels, of course. First levels and these first tasks, these first quests, do go by ever so quickly. And there's another one of the red flowers right out here. So I think we definitely have found the footprints in the snow, the bloody prints. All right, red flower. The trail of blood red footsteps begins at this spot. So we follow the trail of the red flowers down the road. I bet the next one will be right down there. Found another flower along the trail. Indeed we have. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cold fang bar gas. Those are going. Knew we had some kind of a wolf kind of thing along here. The bar guest out on the lake. We are going to continue the flowers. I wonder if we could just skip. I don't want to run along and see it and then have to double back. Let me go and take a look. Any sparkly things? No, no sparkly things coming up. So we definitely have to hit each one as we go along. It looks like this trail is going to lead us to Thorin's Hall. Perhaps. Is it going to turn left? Is it going to turn right? The trail of flowers that led you to a dark dwarf keep. Mmm. Those are some dark dwarves. Here is Trigwi. Look what the dour hands have done to this place. Hello, Trigwi. Hail, elf. I see that you are one of the company that arrived last night when we did. I wonder if we seek the same thing. I am here to find out what has become of Gormir. You seek Skorgrim, you say. The dour hands are his descendants, but Skorgrim is long dead. I asked to speak with the steward, and the dour hands directed me here. This was once a great storage house of Thorin's. I don't think I like what the dour hands have done with the place. Okay, well, right there is where we are going to stop. Next time we come back around, we will talk to Trigwi here and find out what is going in the old storehouse of Thorin's. Let us, in the meantime, put our cloak on. There we go. Armor class is up to 48 now. Very nice. Um, very nice. Short cloak, but it'll do, rabbit. It'll do. All right, so there you go. Afraid we don't have a pipe to smoke. And uh, as an elf, we wouldn't smoke it anyway. So we will go out in elf fashion. Doing a little celebratory dance. Thank you for coming along on Slow Tro. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye.